Hi, this is John Golf 8 Tango Papa X Ray. Uh, this video is about using DSD 1.7 to decode Moto Turbo and D Star with the same package from a Funcube dongle or any other SDR dongle. Traffic there. Let's just start the decode off and see if we can hear what's happening on my local repeater. So this is GB7NS, I love my local Moto Turbo repeater. As you can hear, there's uh, a QSL there happening, and, and we're decoding that with the DSD 1.7 software. Right, and stop the, the decode on there. And it's stopped. Just while we're here, I'll see if anybody talking on D-Star. Oh, there is D-Star as well. Let's just start the decode off again. Da. There we go. Okay, I'll just stop that, but that is D-Star being decoded by the same package. So how do we do this? Well, the SDR dongle, in my case the FunQ Pro Plus, um, sends its output to a virtual audio cable, which is like a patch cable. That then goes to a program called DSD 1.7. Uh, this is used to decode the, uh, the digital signals and that sends it to the PC speaker. The software you need to download is all these three packages. Uh, SDR Sharp, you've probably used before, but just go through and do the install. VB Audio, uh, just install it. Make sure you use admin rights because without administrator rights you'll have some problems with the driver loading correctly. And DSD 1.7, just unzip it and stick it into a directory. In my case, I've got it in DSD 1.7. And if we have a look, you'll just see it's just a few files. That's all that's needed. On the SDR Sharp, I've got the FunQ dongle as the uh, source device. Narrow FM, 12.5K. Make sure your filter audio is turned off. The input device is getting sound, IQ sound from your FunCube dongle. The output device is this virtual audio cable, cable input, virtual audio cable. So this is, this, we're up to here now, we've sent the sound out from FunCube through SDR and sending it to virtual audio input. The output of this virtual patch cable then goes to DSD and then through to the speaker. If we look at DSD, this is the command line you'll use to actually start it. DSD input is the standard Windows device and output is a standard Windows device. Dash FA means decode all protocols and dash XR is to do some inversion for Moto Turbo which I need. You probably will need it as well but if your Moto Turbo decodes don't work correctly try getting rid of the XR just in case. So what are these devices, um, input and output? Well, they're the standard Windows devices. So if you look in here, the cable output, which is this thing here, the VB output or audio output, is this device. Now by setting this as the default recording device in Windows, you get the green tick. And the green tick you select by doing a right click on one of the channels and saying set as default device. I can't do it on here because it's already the default device. But that's what you need to do, get the green tick, default audio device. So that means that the default audio device here will be the input to DSD. The output from DSD, you want to go to your speaker, go to your playback, and do a similar thing on there, right click on the speakers and set that as your default audio device. That way DSD knows to take the input from the virtual cable and send the output to your speakers. Once you've done that, that's all the configuration done. So again, you just need to start the decode off, have it running in the background, and then 
Let's see if we can listen to some more on the repeater. GB7NS. Oh, it's not SDR program. GB7NS. No, I think they just signed. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So that's Moto Turbo Bus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah,